Hello, and welcome to the Inside Pathology series of educational videos. Today we will discuss specimen handling techniques for transport of pleural fluid or ascites cytology specimens for transport. Let's get started. First, we need a standard urine cup and a green top bullet tube with cytology fixative from your supply area. The urine cup will hold unfixed fluid and the bullet tube will hold fixed fluid. Next, apply the patient name label to the side of both containers. Write the specimen source on both containers below each of the patient labels. Now we are ready to aliquot the sample of pleural fluid or a CITI cytology specimen. By aliquot, we mean pouring off a representative portion of the fluid into labeled containers. Because the cells are heavier, they have a tendency to settle in the bottom of the container. It is important to shake the bottle sufficiently enough to mix the cells evenly. This will ensure the adequacy of the sample. It is important to turn the bottle upside down and shake well. The picture on the right shows what a bottle with evenly mixed cells and fibrin clots looks like. For the next few steps, the use of tools will help remove the metal band at the top of the bottle. Wire cutters, vice grips, and a flat-headed screwdriver not pictured are helpful. We keep these tools in an emesis basin for easy accessibility. A sturdy flat-headed screwdriver can be used to lift the top section of the metal band on two sides. Carefully slip the screwdriver under the metal band lip by pressing the tip into the rubber. Then lift the handle of the screwdriver up enough to bend the metal band. Now use the wire cutters to snip where you elevated the band with the screwdriver blade. The vice grips are needed to remove the metal band by grabbing the two locations snipped by the wire cutters. Carefully turn the vice grips so that the metal band is wrapped around the nose of the grips. The effect is similar to opening a sardine can with its can opening key ring. The metal band should now easily remove after a few careful rolling turns with the vice grips. Throw the metal band into a sharps container. Very important, the vacuum bottle may spray once the seal is broken. Always open the bottle in a clean area while wearing eye protection and using both hands to carefully break the seal. Now slowly and carefully remove the rubber stopper using your thumb to lift the lip. Be sure to carefully clean the tools used with disinfectant. Here we are using sani cloth before returning tools to our storage area. Now pour 80 milliliters of the specimen fluid into the urine cup. No fixative is added here. Seal the urine cup lid tightly to prevent leakage during transport. Now prepare the fixed aliquot using the green top bullet tube. Be sure to aliquot equal amounts of specimen and fixative. Be sure to tighten the green container lid to prevent leakage during transport. Also check to make sure the patient label is not caught between the top and the container. Even a tiny gap can result in leakage during transport. Place the two containers into a specimen bag and seal tightly. The specimen bag is now ready to go into a manifest bag along with the requisition and appropriate paperwork. At Insight Pathology, we are committed to providing industry-leading service, results backed by over 50 years of expertise and delivering comprehensive patient care. If you need any additional information regarding this video or our services, please feel free to contact us.